was your, your first handheld system that you ever got? First handheld system? I mean, you remember we had those little bullshit. Jordan vs. Bird and stuff like that. Those little, they just had like three buttons on them. They'll break, you know what I'm saying? But, and they just had like, you 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 look like an etch sketch you know what I'm saying? It just was like a, a shadow of a man. <laughs> What's up, GQ? I'm Danny Brown, and these are my essentials. Okay, phones. I mean, everybody know we need phones, and as much, you know, today, technology, man, these are coming us. A lot of people have one phone, I actually have three. You gotta have different phones for different things, you know. I have one for family, you know, just like, you know, real important business. You gotta have that for this, you know what I'm saying? To let you know it's like the bat signal. And then this is just like for, you know, random, you know, everyday people, you know, you meet on the street, you be like, hey, you know, Take my number, you know? Back in the day, you used to get people fake numbers and stuff, but now you just give me a real number, but you don't, you can just block them or don't answer it or do stuff like that. And I have a third phone just for streaming. Cause you never just wanna be on live stream or something and just make a mistake and like, I don't know, leak a dick pic or something on it. So you gotta have another phone with just for, you know, only social media stuff and that's just it. So that's that. Next is headphones. And you wanna get you a good pair of headphones. For good sound quality, I like Audio Technique. That's my favorite company. And you know, when you're on a plane and shit, and babies and crying and stuff, you want something that's noise canceling. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nothing where you can hear other motherfuckers' conversations and hear what they got to say. So you wanna get you a nice big pair of Audio Techniques, drown out babies crying on the plane. You know what I'm saying? You can go into your own world. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do while you're sitting on the plane watching, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, career after the straight guy or something like that. I don't know. It's one of my favorite shows, by the way, man. Video games, man, would probably be my number one if we was to go with what, you know, you can't live without. Video games, you know, when you're feeling down and you're lonely and you're depressed, and there's an alternative world you can turn to and it's the world of video games. Like right now I'm playing Fire Emblem. Very, 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 very deep storyline. You know what I'm saying? I'm really getting drawn into it. Well, I don't care about what's going on in the outside world. You know what I'm saying? Did you play Zelda on that? Breath of the Wild, it's amazing. It's a 10 out of 10 game, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you know, I, I hate it every time, you know, you go cook up something, you know what I'm saying? You throw a couple of apples, you throw some shit up in the pot, then it come out some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't very good at cooking on there. So that was my um, downfall about Zelda Breath of the Wild. Escape life, man. It's, it's, it's really overrated. Life's overrated. Play video games. I will say, man, when you when you first started making you a little bit of money, whatever, whatever you're doing, you got you could splurge or something. The number one thing you want to probably do is get you a nice watch. Me personally, I'm a fan of like rare vintage watches and stuff like that. I don't like the you know the big gaudy. I'm actually this is a rare Jacob, but I have here is a, um, the Domino's Pizza Rolex. It was a thing where I think if you sold a certain amount of pieces from from your Domino's, the actual owner of Domino's would give you this Rolex. And um, I got it at a pawn shop. <laughs> so I guess somebody sold their priceless dreams for away for nothing, you know? Like, you oh, you slug all those pizzas, man, to, to get the trophy? You know what I'm saying? You just give it away to my dumb ass. That's cool. Okay, I guess next would be um, footwear, right, in general. She's like, look, I have Nice, you know, a lot of people are sneakerheads and stuff, and they have a nice pristine pair of 1985 Jordan 1s, you know? Not a retro. I could be walking up the street right now, these motherfuckers just literally fall apart on my foot. You know what I'm saying? But I take the risk for fashion, you know what I'm saying? But if we want to go where the Jordan 1 of centuries, of the Jordan 1 for, you know what I'm saying, eternities, you can't go no wrong with a pair of Birkenstocks. You know what I'm saying? These are like the Air Moses' ones. Gladiators used to kill motherfuckers in these. Can you imagine running around stabbing motherfuckers with swords in these? Michael Jordan just dunked. They stabbed motherfuckers in these. You get what I'm saying? So you need to get you a pair of Birkenstocks. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're 30. Get you a pair of Birkenstocks and let the toes breathe every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Better for your health. Next we have here, it's just a leaf, you know? Because, you know, trees, you know, they create air and oxygen for us, and it's like a, it's a part of life, you know? Very uplifting. When you get down sometimes, you need a leaf. Cures my anxiety, my depression, you know, makes me feel real better about myself sometimes when I'm down, so. Shouts out to my leaves and trees and all my botanists. You know, botanists are underrated, you know what I'm saying? People need to, 
Support your local botanist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next time we just common hygienic essentials. You know what I'm saying? One number one thing is lotion too, especially for a black man on the streets. You can't be walking around, you know what I'm saying? Just making mixing, you, you know you got an itch in your arm, you're scratching, you look like you've been wrestling with a cheater. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta keep some other lotion on deck, you know what I'm saying? You ever bump to somebody on the street, you say, what's up, dog? And you just, ugh. You give them that little handshake with the hub thing, and you're like, ugh. Why ain't nobody just never make like a t-shirt? They had like a deodorant pad that you might could just change, that you would never go musty, you know? You would never stink. Come on, man, I can't be giving up all this game for free. Next is water. I mean, obviously, you know, water is the key to life. Without water, I don't know what I'd do, but I'm a huge fan of sparkling water, you know what I'm saying? I was in Europe one time, I can't remember where I was at. You know, I was partying, got a little too drunk. You know, you're in your hotel bed, you just knocked out and you up like, oh, the room is spinning, and you reach out and you grab a bottle of water. But I didn't know it was a sparkling water. At that time, I wasn't a fan of sparkling water like that. And I, and I just guzzled it down, I guzzled it down. Next thing I know, I just projectile vomited all over the room. You know what I'm saying? If anything that can make you do that, it got all the poison out of me. I felt like such a better man. If, if anything that can do that, maybe that's something I need to be drinking more. So ever since then, I've just been drinking sparkling water every day. Next is just bags. You know, when you first get you a little money, man, you want to get you a, a nice watch. And you also want to get you a nice bag, too. You got to remember, man, back in the day, they used to tie a sheet to a stick. And that's the way they used to move around the streets. You know what I'm saying? With a stick and a motherfucking sheet. Now we got these book bags with all these secret compartments and pockets and all that. So I will say this. You know, because I mean, it's just bigger in general. This is more so just like, you know, walk around like, I don't know, condoms and stuff, you know? This, you can, you know, I put more electronics and shit. Just like my video games, you know, stuff like that, you know, music stuff, you know. I would say I, I'm a fan of the Louis Vuitton stuff because it's durable. I've had this back forever, for years, I feel like. It's worn, it's lived in. It's part of me now at this point. And it's still, you know, still holding up, doing what he gotta do, you know? Next, we got a Kindle, because you gotta read books, man. Like, remember back in the day, you pray, carry one book. If you was walking around with 20 books in your bag, you'd be like a serial killer or something. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have like 100 books right here. I can just flip through and just switch to different books. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading like three books at a time. Shouts out to my books. If girls like a man that can read. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, even if you're not reading for real, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna pick up some chicks, just get you a bookshelf and just go buy random books from like a thrift store. You don't gotta read them or nothing. You know, and the girl come over, she know you got books. So she's like, I gotta trust him, he got books. So yeah, you gotta have some books. Thank you, GQ, thank you for having me through. We was able to kick it, have a nice time talking about my essentials. Love you guys.